In this video, I want to talk very briefly about writing and reading a script. So I already discussed uh, some of the pros and cons of having a script, but if you do decide to create one, uh, there's a few things you, you should uh, keep in mind. It's uh, really important to think about what language you're going to use and how you're going to formulate uh, your script. Uh, there are some tools that can help you with that, and then of course, then think about how to best read out a script. So uh, remember, there are some really important differences between spoken versus written language. And people, when they start writing a script, the most natural mode is simply use the way that they're used to writing. But in fact, scripts are um, done don't sound very well. I mean, they're hard to read if you, if you write them in the way they would you will write a written sentence. And some of the important differences between spoken and written language are short sentences. Um, none of these sort of long convoluted sentences with lots of uh, embeddings and conjunctions. Uh, using verbs rather than nouns, uh, and then also often uh, put things together with ad, and, and but, rather than things like while, while and whereas, and things like that. So let's have a look at some examples. So for example, uh, it's much better to say, when, you'll, uh, when you come, we'll show you the building, uh, as opposed to something like, upon arrival, you will attending a, bu a building walk around. So you can see, instead of arrival, we have when you come, uh, and then uh, uh, build and walk around so we'll show you the building so 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 that's kind of the way people usually talk but when you start writing this feels much more natural to sort of make things a bit more formal but right but so when you're writing a script try to force yourself to go from this to that uh, another uh, element that I mentioned is that using uh, and 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 often seems like it's kind of not quite right in written language uh, so you say I always watch the bird and it flew away and it just kind of feels like it's just a very simple simplistic uh, um, language whereas um, saying something like Alois watch the bird which flew away seems like it's more sophisticated more appropriate to the page but actually this is the way people tend to speak and they will more often use these sort of and conjunctions and then sort of use of separate sentences rather than try to put it all together into one long sentence so again it's something you have to get used to and and think about when you're writing a script and often when you're reading it for the first time, you realize, oh, I should have made it, I should have made it more like this. So uh, you will often need to do some rewriting to get that right. Now, mm, there are some language to avoid in particular, and some of the things to uh, avoid are embedded clauses, long noun clusters, long conditionals. And I, I'm not going to go in, into detail on these things, but uh, just to kind of remember, some of these things are quite difficult. So don't try to uh, embed clauses into long sentence. Don't try to string too many nouns together. And then, you know, if you can avoid very, very long convoluted conditionals, that will also be helpful. Now, there are some tools uh, that then help you with. So first, you can uh, you can simply use uh, PowerPoint notes to write notes for each slide, and then and then import that into Rapid to use as your script. Uh, another uh, um, uh, another way to do that is uh, to use Google Voice typing or in Office Dictate, and instead of writing your script by hand, dictate it uh, so that it's more natural. So you, you're less thinking in terms of speaking and more thinking in terms of, uh, you're, you're not thinking as much in terms of speaking, but more, th uh, more in terms of uh, a natural delivery as opposed to writing. And then the other tip is to use YouTube for transcriptions. So, so for example, I can create a video, a draft video, for example, I can uh, record it in PowerPoint, I can record it here with RapidWork, and then upload it to YouTube as a private video so nobody else sees it. And then uh, go to the subtitle section when I edit the video and download the subtitle file. And then I can uh, simply uh, open that as in, in, a, in a notepad, and, uh, and I, can, I have the transcription of what I was saying, and then I actually get a more natural language out of that. So I speak first, then I um, uh, get a transcription and I edit that, and then uh, and then I re record that as a with a script. Uh, as I already mentioned several times, you can certainly uh, record uh, yourself just with PowerPoint. You don't need to necessarily come here and record a rapid move video, but that's also an, an option. Now, the other thing to think about is how do you format your script. So when you're when you're preparing a script. Uh, make sure you put things like pauses in there, intonation marks, some stage directions in there as well. So because when you're when you're reading, uh, when you read the script, often you forget to pause or you don't realize which bits go t together because uh, you, you kind of look as far ahead. Uh, and people often tend not to pause enough. So, so all these things I think are important uh, to add to the formatting of your script. 
And then finally, uh, some tips on, on reading a script. So first, you need to, you need to practice. Uh, very few people can actually just uh, get a bit of text and read it naturally. So, so you need to do it a few times, get used to which bits go together, and, and, and so on. When you're talking, instead of talking to the script and reading out the script as you would when you're reading a book, uh, talk through the camera. So it's take some, t uh, make the effort of projecting your voice. Go a bit faster uh, than uh, you would normally do at reading. And also make pauses that are a bit longer than seems comfortable. So often pause a little bit more than you normally would. And those are things that some people do quite naturally. Um, and it's often amazing. News readers can make it sound like they're speaking to you directly when they're reading a text. But most people, in my experience, and that includes myself, find it a lot more difficult and challenging to read a script and make it sound like you're actually speaking to people and telling them something interesting. So those are just some of the general tips. It's uh, the, the script part of the preparing a video is definitely uh, a long and involved process. And we, we need to practice a little bit in the workshop, but it's not something that I think uh, we can um, uh, we can expect to do fully and to, to do it full justice because I think there's really a lot to know uh, about how to get that, uh, how to best uh, prepare a script and then read it out for video. Then finally, in the next video and last video, we're going to have a look at uh, what are the things that we can use Rapid MOOC for, which is, uh, of course, a, a big important part of what we'll be learning in the workshop.